Hello and welcome back to another video and today I actually have a very very cool deck profile for you guys and I'm going to be showing you guys my Ultra Geist deck profile for the January 2021 format I believe. Um, it's almost February but this deck is still going to be very viable then. Um, Ultra Geist is a forgotten deck nobody really plays anymore but it is still a very very powerful deck with two card combos and stuff like that all littered in the deck. It's just a really really oppressive and powerful deck to beat your opponents with and it has a lot of really good mashups this format. Other than Eldlick, I would say Eldlick is the only like semi bad matchup it has. And yeah, so be sure to smash the like button, comment down below what you guys think of Alter Guys's format, and of course subscribe to the channel because at 500 subscribers we're gonna start doing videos with a face camera. So that is something pretty pretty cool. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first off, we have our Ultra Geist lineup. We have Triple Multi Faker, obviously the best one. Whenever you activate a trap card, you can special summon it from your hand, and then it has the effect when it's summoned. You can summon an Ultra Geist monster from your deck. So usually you summon out Silk with this card, and we'll get into what Silk does a bit later. Ultra Geist is an, um, Multi Faker is an amazing card with Imperm because that's a two card combo. You just Imperm your opponent, then get Multi Faker in your opponent's turn. Of course, Multi Faker is always very, very useful because whenever you activate a trap card, you can summon and use the effect. So, yeah, Multi Faker, definite three of. It's good that it's back at three. Really, really great card. We have Triple Ultra Geist Marionetter. Marionetter, when it's normal summoned, it sets an Ultra Geist trap from the deck to the field. We have one manifestation along with double protocol for that. Very, very good lineup. I would not change those ratios. You guys can run a second manifestation, but I think it's unnecessary. Next up, we have Triple Alter Geist and Meloseek. Meloseek is really, really good. It can attack directly, and when it inflicts battle damage, you can target a card your opponent controls and send it to the graveyard. So it sends, doesn't destroy. Very, very good card. Obviously, the ability for free removal, and it's good in time. Very, very nice. And, and when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add an Alter Geist monster from your deck to your hand. So basically, you can roam summon it, make Link Rebo, and then search your multi faker, which is really, really good. Next up, we have the one Conquery. Conquery, when opponent's monster attacks, you can, um, if and you control an Alter Geist card, not monster card, you can special summon it from your hand and negate the attack. That's really cool because also when special summoned, you can target an opponent's monster and negate the effects as long as Conquery is face upon the field. So not only does this card negate an attack and possibly save you from being OTK'd, um, but it also negates the effects of an opponent's monster, which is really, really good, especially in this current metagame. Next up, we have the uh, double Alter Geist Silk. And by the way, we are only running one because everything is basically searchable. Um, and yeah, you don't really want to see more than one of it because it's a level five and stuff, but it's still a really good card. Double Silk. Silk is one of the is what you're going for with Multi Faker. Basically, as a quick effect, you can bounce an Alter Geist card you control to your hand and target a card your opponent controls and return it to their hand, which is really, really nice. And when it's sent up from the field to the graveyard, um, you can add an Alter Geist Trap from your graveyard to your hand. So... Two very good effects. The first effect is what you're focusing on. It's a quick effect bounce, which you get for free whenever you activate a trap card. So let's say you activate Compulse. You bounce the opponent's monster, right? Then multi faker triggers, summoning during your opponent's turn. Effect, summon Silk. Silk bounces another card. And it's just really, really, really nice. It's a great form of interruption. It makes Alter Geist one of the best cards in the deck. Next up, we have our hand trap, I guess. Only hand trap running triple gamma along with the one driver. I mean... This card's really, really good. It's great against a lot of the matchups this uh, format. You guys can replace it with Bell and Upstart, but I don't know. I think Gamma's pretty, pretty good. Uh, the one driver, obviously, you don't want to see more than one of this card. You don't want to see it at all. It's a brick, but, you know, you have to run if you're going to run Gamma. Triple Extravagance, our only spell card. So Extrav, obviously, digging into our deck. We don't use... We basically don't use our extra deck at all. So, yeah, you know... Just extra, very, very nice um, card. We have uh, the, the one uh, manifestation, reviving an Alter Geist monster from our graveyard, along with double protocol, making all of our um, Alter Geist monsters basically spell speed four, which is really, really nice. Not to mention it's a negate, so you can send in another Alter Geist card and negate the activation of like a monster effect, which is really, really nice. And it destroys too. I forgot to mention that. Um, next up, we have double compulsory evacuation device. Compulse, one of the most underrated traps of any format. It's not once per turn, and the ability to bounce a monster is very, very, very good and very oppressive at the same time. And you want to run cards like that. Yeah, I really, really like Compulse. Triple Crackdown. Crackdown is such a good card. Just being able to seal your opponent's card. When you do that, if you time it well in their the middle of their combo and you just take it, it's really effective against Outlook. If you take their Golden Lord, then their Conquistador or Hawkero won't actually do anything. 
if you in battle phase, if you take your opponent's monster because they're gonna OTK you, then they pass. Like Crackdown is just a really, really, really good card, and there's no excuse for not running this. We have Triple Ice Dragon's Prison. This card is a bit pricey now, but it's still one of the best trap cards in the format, I think. Being able to out Dragoon for free with Ice Dragon's Prison is really, really nice, not to mention the fact that you can use it just for the sake of an extender if you want to go into a Link 4. But um, yeah, the Triple Ice Dragon's Prison. We have one Imperial Order because, as you saw, we are only running Triple Extravagance, so that's basically no spells. So Imperial Order fits really, really nicely into the deck. Triple Impermanence. While Imperm is not the best hand trap this format, once again, it is the two-card combo with Multifaker because you can use it when your opponent's going first, so you don't have to set it and stuff. So really, really good in Ultra Guys. Triple Personal Spoofing. Spoofing, basically, it shuffles an Altergeist card from your hand or face of the field into the main deck and adds an Altergeist monster. So it's a searcher for your multi-faker. Very, very good card, and you can search for basically anything. One of the best cards in the deck. Next up, we have Triple Psalm Strike. I'm not running Judgment. I prefer Strike because Strike can negate monster effects, and monster effects are a bit more used in this format. Judgment's really good, don't get me wrong, but I personally think Strike is better. But if you guys have Judgments lying around and you don't have Strikes, then feel free to run the Judgment. It's a great card as well. And that's basically it for the main deck. Onto the extra deck. We over here have Triple the Last Warrior from Another Planet, along with Triple Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon. Obviously, we have no way to summon these cards, so this is actually for a tech option. You guys can run uh what's that card called the dragon waking waking the dragon waking the dragon um yes yeah, so you guys can run waking the dragon and basically if you do that then you can just completely like if they pop it you can summon it so you guys can run waking the dragon decide that that's why we're putting those over there um next we have triple alter guys hextia hextia obviously the best card in your extra deck you go into this card a lot very, very good card. Don't underestimate Hextail. Of course, you can always OTK with this card, which is really, really nice, too. We have the one Borload Dragon. Borload is a really good card that a lot of people don't think about when deck building. So, yeah, don't forget this card exists. It can still steal an opponent's monster. It's still good. There's no reason not to like this card. I personally think it's really, really nice. The one Brawl Sword, you can swap this out for access code. It's really up to you. But, um, yeah, the one Brawl Sword Dragon, obviously... It's really, yeah. We have the one Unicorn also. You guys can run IP in this deck as well, but Unicorn is really, really cool. Being able to shuffle a monster from your opponent's field is just really, really nice. I think it's the best nightmare other than Phoenix. Phoenix is a close second. It's really personal preference at, at that point. Triple Link Rebo. Link Rebo, really, really, really good card. This card just works so well with Melseek and gives you every possible reason to run it. Side deck options, Triple Nibiru, Triple Forbidden, Triple Lightning Storm, Evenly, and Judgment. All these are really, really great cards that you guys can run. And that is basically it for the deck profile. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash the like button and comment down below what you guys think of Ultra Guys. And um, yeah. I guess that's it for the video. Subscribe. I mean, yeah, 500 subscribers. We are so close. So let's get over there and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys. Peace.